formal chloride, the acid chloride made from methanoic or formic acid, is unstable, whereas all of the other longer chain acid chlorides are not unstable. Why is that? Well, it has to do with the carbocation that's made when this Cl falls off here. Here, this Cl is able to fall off of the molecule, and I say that because it's a good leaving group. It can take that bonding pair of electrons with it. So you end up with the H connected to the C still. That C is still connected to the oxygen. The oxygen has two lone pairs, and that carbon now has a positive formal charge. It is a carbocation. Now we also have a Cl minus ion here. It took both of those electrons in that bonding pair, and so it has a complete octet, not that it necessarily matters to us. Now this here is a resonance stabilized carbocation. What I mean is that this oxygen could donate two electrons to complete the octet on carbon, make that a triple bond. That gives us a positive charge here, positive formal charge there. This is just a little bit of resonance which helps to stabilize the carbocation. But more importantly, this H, which is not connected to that carbon, the carbocation's carbon, in a longer chain acid chloride, is itself acidic. From here, you can consider that the carbon might want to take those electrons for itself. Where is that H plus ion going to go? Well, you can consider it to be paired with the chloride, although I do understand that HCl, um, well, at least in water, HCl is on, it will dissociate. But that chlorine can pair with the H to make the whole molecule HCl you'll end up with an HCl molecule, and this carbon will end up with, uh, well, I guess that, that bonding pair needs to go to that carbon, but we need to complete the octet on carbon still. So we're still gonna have that oxygen donate there. You end up with a carbon monoxide molecule. So formal chloride, that's HCOCl, will decompose to give you carbon monoxide plus HCl. The reason it happens only for formal chloride and not with longer chain acid chlorides is because the other longer chain acid chlorides have a carbon-carbon bond here. And that particular bond won't fracture, whereas this H is willing to leave on its own, leave the electrons behind, and it is an acidic H that allows the CO or carbon monoxide to form. Hey, thanks for being with me, and best of luck.